Hey, this is Brian here with Pop Culture Renegades, and I'm with... Kelly! Woo! From That Hashtag Show, and we, we're at the Telltale Games booth, and we just got a sneak peek at the first 30 minutes of the new Batman game. A lot of the experience of like coming in, like the setup they have here, really added to it. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't, you can't see it here, but there's a secret entrance but that you we like got slide into. Slide the wall over, and then you like enter into the back cave. Yeah, it was a back cave. <laughs> what was one of the most exciting game mechanics you got to see in this? Ooh, okay. I did like seeing a lot of the villains that they had, and how, like, at what stage they're at of their. Uh, Villainy, so in what part and like where we're gonna see them like like for example Two Face. Yeah. Was not Two Face yet. He was still Harvey Dent. So it's kinda cool to see like where they're taking these characters and what stages they're at. It was cool. They did they did say that there will be some detective mechanics in the game. I know that's I know Batman fans are always a fan of that. Some games have it where it's just action and some don't, but it's cool that they said there'll be a unique new game mechanic about being a detective. I like that. I like that. I, I am familiar with their Walking Dead series and it was nice like in interacting like with what's around you um, when you're Clementine like you know you have to interact with like stuff and it's gonna be cool to be able to investigate the surroundings yeah I, I, I got to play their Game of Thrones games and I really enjoyed how what your, your how big of an impact your choices make throughout the game and they alluded to that that will make a big difference in this game as well yeah I agree I agree I liked it it was cool uh, speaking of Two-Face, you know, we saw Harvey Dent before he became Two-Face. And asking a question about this, they alluded to that our choices could determine whether or not certain people actually become villains or not. That's true. They did give us some examples of conversation with Harvey Dent, and you could basically insult him or, like, do something to upset him, or you could keep him on your side. So... He did hint that you could be the reason why these characters turn into villains, so I thought that was cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I always enjoyed, in the Batman Arkham Asylum games, for example, well, Arkham Asylum, how they dove into Batman's psyche, you know? He's no different than the villains, he's just on one side of the line. And they definitely alluded to that because of Batman, some of these villains came to be, or maybe not. I like that idea. I enjoyed it. I think that's cool. So the game is slated to come out the first season this summer, and it's going to be five episodes. I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to try it out. Me too.